Okay. Good afternoon. Don't say you can't until you prove you cannot. <clears throat> Welcome to 92nd episode of Creative Online Weekend Talks. Myself, Supriya Naika, hosting this program. Creative. Creative is a group of people who are eager to gain new knowledge. <clears throat> Cree active, cree means creativity, active means activeness. To be active, we need creativity. Creativity keeps us active. Tagline of creative is knowledge square, sharing of knowledge increases our knowledge. Vision of creative is to build constructive thinking on various domain and our main focus on non-textual, non-academic, non-syllabus related concepts. Yeah, very Saturday, we organize online weekend talks on, on the Zoom platform and we live stream our program on our YouTube channel, Creative GBD. Creative is thankful to all our resource person for engaging us with their knowledge. Today's creative topic, is novel approach in plant virology. To present this, we have Dr. K. S. Shankrapa sir with us today. Attending this talk can be a valuable experience for curious minds, provide opportunity to learn about new developments in the field, research findings and meet and network. This webinar can also be useful forum for discussing challenges and opportunities in plant virology, research, and for identifying new research direction and priorities. So I call uh, our volunteer Govardhan uh, to introduce today's speaker. Over to Govardhan. Thank you, ma'am. A very good afternoon to everyone. Myself, Govardhan. It is my great honor and pleasure to introduce Dr. K. Shankarapa, sir, obtained his PhD from University of Agricultural Sciences in the area of plant pathology and MSc from University of Agricultural Sciences in the year 2002 and BSc Agriculture in the year of 2000 respectively. And his achievements have been recognized by many different awards like Jawaharlal Nehru Award for Postgraduate Agricultural Research for the year of 2007, Dr. Ramakrishna UAS Gold Medal for Best PhD Student in the in Blind Pathology during the year 2006 and many more. Dr. K. Shankarapa sir worked as a research associate, a senior research fellow and instructor in University of Agricultural Sciences, Bangalore. And DBT postdoctoral fellow, DBT research associate in Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore. And he conducted so many research projects as a principal investigator and co-principal investigator. At present, sir working as an assistant professor in Department of Plant Pathology, a College of Agricultural GKVK campus, Bangalore. Thank Thank you so much, sir, for coming and bestowing us with your own presence. And welcome to the 92nd session of Creative Gauri Bidur. Thank you. Thank you, Govardhan. Uh, sir, over to you. Uh, thank you, madam. Thank you, Govardhan, for a nice introduction. It is a talk related to my journey to UK and came back, and also what I learned in the UK and what are things I observed in a lab and also networking how it is helped me to travel to uk and what are the aspects i dealt or learned in the uk where i have brought up my visit to uk can i say my slide yes sir can you able to see slide yes sir it's visible okay thank you madam okay. yes uh, good, good evening to all let us discuss what are the Crop loss due to the different factors are biotic, abiotic factors. Biotic factors may be your weeds or pests or pathogens. What we are going to deal with is the pathogens are, uh, belongs to different groups, fungi, bacteria, virus, viride, phytoplasma, nematodes, pyroplasma, etc. Because these pathogens associated with the cause of the disease at least to the crop loss. Can, you can able to listen my words? Yes, sir. And okay. you can keep that slides in the slide mode, sir. Now? 
No sé. Just a minute. No, madam? No, sir. Because I kept actually in a slide mode only. It's not. It's in normal mode, sir. So just uh, uh, stop screening and again you can uh, screen it, just, sir. Just a minute. Now? It's normal mode, sir. Now? No, sir. You can continue, sir. No issue. No, no. It is visible, madam. It is slide mode. It's visible, no? sir, but not in slide mode. Amma, you should come. But in my system, it is showing slide mode only. Okay, you continue, sir. No issue. These pathogens belong to different groups. Uh, present uh, studies related to virus. Let us see virus history. Virus history was in 752 AD. These the virus progenies was felt as these in the yellow uh, mosaic symptoms. This uh, poem in the poem by Cochen. That means in uh, 752 AD, these presence of virus was felt based on the symptoms in the poem. And this virus infection also leads to some uh, beauty to the plant, especially ornamental plants. You can see variegation in the plants gives some beauty. That means presence of virus have a beauty. And also in another group, you can see this tulip breaking was made a exchange of so many goods due to the attraction of these tulip. People are exchanged to purchase one tulip. Uh, uh, a uh, bulb or uh, uh, this flower indicated the presence of a virus in a seventh, 16th century. Then the presence of virus was uh, made. Uh, then the histological development, this is the outbreak or this uh, tulpa mean anything but exchange of goods leads to the inflation, uh, financial inflation. That indicates that the presence of virus has changed the financial uh, exchange. Then in Indian scenario, you can see different crops are affected by uh, uh, these viral pathogens, in, uh, including tomato, cabbage, cauliflower, cucumber, other field crops. You can observe the yield loss due to these viral disease up to 100%. In a uh, papaya also, we can see up to 100% infection and the yield loss in different uh, crop plants and including fruits and vegetables. See, historical development is this. Actually, now COVID has made so much problem. Real history of the virus has started the plant virus, the tobacco mosaic virus. This uh, tobacco mosaic virus is transmitted by sap was discovered by Adolf Meyer. And these uh, virus may uh, remain infective even after passing bacterial filters that is discovered by uh, Ivanovsky, indicating this is not a bacteria. This is a uh, 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 not the bacteria, but it is smaller than the bacteria. That means that is uh, agent is passed through the bacterial filter, bacterial food filter indicates this is not a bacteria. Actually, the word of a virus was started by great scientist Bizring with contagium um fluidium. That fluidium has a contagious, and this word is wa a virus was coined by Bizring. Now, this father of a plant virology has start, uh, is Bizring. That means the history of a virus or a virological aspects was dealt in the plant system. Now these recent years, the pandemic due to the COVID, it is also virus. Then these basics of virology was started the plant and the plant viruses. The crystallization of a virus was done by starting slides, a... So, yes, sir, slides uh, are not changing, sir. Otherwise you can, madam, don't you have slides now? Yes, sir. Shall I, sir? Yeah, yes, madam. One minute, sir. Just one. Actually, uh, it is uh, my system. It is showing. Is it visible, sir? Make it a slide mode, madam. Uh, actually, one minute, sir.
वन मिनट से जस्ट एक is it visible sir no madam actually you are showing from the drive you not downloaded it no sir it's downloaded one uh, now you, you check in check sir is it visible sir it is not in a slide mode madam now sir no now sir no but other second tell is it visible sir now sir okay you continue sir no issue shall i stop sir uh, I, uh, sir i think uh, you can unshare and then share it uh, as full screen rather than just uh, an application one minute now sir is it visible sir you muted sir shankar sir make it in slide mode madam now sir yes madam thank you madam okay okay sir go to the slide number next slide okay. next 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 madam this one sir next 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 see looking at uh, the virus different from other organisms or pathogens virus are smaller in compared to any organisms they don't have any cell and cell organelles they cannot multiply their own they they depends on the host their multiplication they borderline living and non living sometime that's it is outside the cell it's a non living it is inside the cell is living that's why it is called this these viruses are mesobiotic where virus always multiply rapidly compared to other organisms nucleic acid and it will be present in the inside so protein is, the protein is covered by the nucleic acid protein capsid protect the nucleic acid and transfer of these protein plays important transfer of the virus then always nucleic acid is infectious in nature indicating the nucleic acid play important role in the infection of the virus thank next madam this virus generally plant virus spread through different way they say plant to plant or mechanically vegetative propagation or through seeds or through pollen bud and you can see the root to root contact or graft to graft contact and the biological vectors vector is the agent is to carry the virus from the infected the healthy plants is called as vectors this can be through darder or insect mite non insects like mite fungi and nematodes this means these vector and the agent is carry the uh, virus from infected to healthy next madam this you can see insect may be aphids white fly thrips leaf hoppers mealybugs non insects may be mite nematodes and fungi that means these these agents are play important to spread of the uh, plant viruses next 
this the you know, most of the disease assay options maybe we have to screen to in the field in a natural screening and through spread through the vector through vector transmission agro inoculation is a advancing tools where you can see the infection of the virus through agro inoculus inoculation means through agro bacteria mediated inoculation through grafting also these uh, uh, virus spreads next you can see in a natural screening in the infected plants and vector is transmit the virus like that we can see the natural screening of the viruses in the field next another agro inoculation studies has has uh, uh, have carried out at the university of uh, greenwich in, in collaboration greenwich of university have moved to the uh, uk uh, funding from our uh, university uh, a, a project next under national agriculture higher education project it is funded to the from the new delhi funded to the university of articulture sciences where you can see the bsc articulture msc articulture phd in articulture and other allied subjects uh, students will get a admission and they will get jobs and in different careers you can see next career development in through this uh, either ag articulture agriculture either as a scientist as a assistant professor as we can see the through competitive exams like civil ser servants or uh, upsc kpsc uh, like uh, different exams you can take after a degree and shine in their uh, life then management sector in the national international uh, levels next then defense service, CDS, or banking, NGO sector, even the self entrepreneurship their own, you can start their companies and uh, do uh, life, and you can become an entrepreneurship and uh, lead their life and give a job to others. Like this, by taking this type of degree, we can see the different levels of uh, our own seniors uh, and classmates uh, achieved in their life. Next. This during uh, 2002 is a three year senior to me. Is a, he bagged is a BSc agriculture, MSc agriculture, he able to bag second rank in UPSC. Now he's the chief secretary at uh, Ariana, Ariana State. That indicates this uh, presence of this. They can see few of my friends who are graduated from uh, University of uh, Agriculture Sciences, uh, GKVK. They have able to get the IAS, uh, clear the IAS, and placed it in different. Uh, uh, capacity like Chandra Gupta is basically from uh, uh, Gauri Bidduru and Jagdish and uh, Govindaraju is uh, he has appreciated by our honorable vice uh, honorable prime minister of India for his contribution in the field, in this uh, in the field, for, as a deputy deputy commissioner at UP recently he joined uh, ISRO and is working uh, in the ISRO as a IAS officer administrative level. Let me see this basic degree of agriculture articles or makes your opens your eyes to have the different uh, exams under clear and settle in the life. You can see uh, Kishtaradi is basically for Singapore has cleared uh, IRTS now is a railway officer and Gopinath is a he did BSc and MSc agriculture on GKVK. He is uh, he both Kishtaradi and uh, Gopinath responsible for Kisan Railway. Uh, where you can export the mango from Sinvasar to Delhi. Then another person of my classmate and my close friend was did BSA agree and uh, MSA agree and did PhD and is working for the company. That means these uh, basic degree from agriculture, horticulture, sciences self makes a difference in life that one more personality who was a director of horticulture is my, my own senior who did a BSA horticulture. Now he's a IAS officer who is working uh, for the Department of Horticulture. P of my friends who did uh, BSc uh, Agriculture, you can see Raghavendra is my own classmate and uh, Arun Kumar did a PhD from CDFT and postdoc from uh, USA. Uh, there, <coughs> Sirama is did a BSc MSc from uh, GKVK and how he is a scientist. Enktonop is my own classmate and he is a scientist in IHR. And Sridhar is a BSc, MSc, and CF, P, did PhD from CFTR. He's working as a scientist there only. And I'm happy to next back. My own senior who has did the BSc agriculture is leading the, his own company, a seed company. I indicate that this basic degrees of agriculture, horticulture makes more confidence up in different uh, fields. You can see 
one more thing next madam one more thing happy to announce that one of my seniors who did bsc agriculture and left for msc for a preparation who is the in instrumental enough to give us e governance set up in the country and the first time in the state and is disappointed in different states it is one none other than the varaprasad reddy was a bsc agriculture graduate that means our agriculture system has make a more confident to appear for the different exams next look at the my own student where uh, these are the graduates of articles are uh, getting into the as a scientist assistant professor and uh, recently the one of our student is uh, 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 cleared uh, assistant commissioner of commercial tax and pure power student becomes a police sub inspector and uh, their place in different uh, capacity in the banking and the department this give some base for the others to have this articles and agriculture uh, to excel in their life next what i had did at the uk when i have uh, went there in, initially i have uh, designed the primers for the these uh, the infectious clones of begum virus associated the either uh, tomato and cucumber and all then this uh, clone then the clone they the amplified through the primer design to the uh, primer 3 then next these are cloned into the agro vector of two my patients where this uh, binary vector uh, as a clone into the binary vector and transformed with agro vector of two my patients and these transformed colonies are uh, grown and inoculated to the next uh, the plants which are either cucumber or tomato through agro infiltration method we can see the plants how the people rise and seedlings are ready for the inoculation through agro inoculation agro infiltration next this way you can see the infiltration has done and the indicating that the presence of virus will be there in the agro bacterium and these are uh, inoculated to the uh, tomato and cucumber after inoculation you can we can see the symptom induction by the A virus in the infect inoculated plants. Next, next, please, Bedo. This uh, this inoculation studies was carried to the bio safety cabinet where you can award the the uh, infection to other. And this is a strict uh, stringent rules are there in the UK labs where we cannot uh, contaminate the lab and this uh, bio safety measures are very very important uh, we can see some slides of future slides next after inoculation we can see the infection by the viruses in inactive plants either in cucumber or, or benthamena indicate the these viruses are infected to the healthy plants and show the infection that clearly indicate this virus is highly infectious next you can see the curling in the benthamena that is tobacco seedlings then another tool to after infection we have to determine the virus load we have taken the real time pcr this is one of the important tools in the diagnostics and determine the concentration of virus in the infected now it is uh, when covid pandemic uh, rt pcr has made a very very important for the uh, people to know the presence of virus in the infected uh, person like that we this real time pcr was uh, 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 done then we have determined the load of the virus in the infected plants next then we have uh, this uh, cyber green uh, master mix is used the plate is used for the uh, preparation of uh, master mix and other reagents next this is subjected to pc uh, that the real time pcr next this is the related cpcr setting up the reaction and as a condition for the realm pcr once it done we can see the uh, ct value based on ct value can determine the concentration of virus in the infected plants then this is that ct value this ct value gives the presence of the virus or ct value indicate the concentration of virus this means the real time pcr is a very important tool for the determine the key load determining the load of the uh, virus in the infected plants next 
Next, uh, very, very important tool where in the virology, we can discover the novel viruses. Next is the gene sequencing methodology, where this is the highly advanced tool where we can see the DNA RNA extraction was carried out from the infected plants and subjected for the preparation of a library. Next. Then this library was prepared and subjected to sequencing by NeuroSeq uh, 600 platform facilities. These, after the sequencing, we, we can get the sequence data from this uh, process. Next, this subjected for the removing the quality check. Quality check checks by PASTQ version of software. Once this PASTQ uh, was this quality was checked, then we are subjected to remove the adapters and, and low quality reads using a trim glaler version. And this sequence are okay. You can see the after trimming, you can remove the adapters and the low quality reads. It will get the quality uh, data. These softwares are really useful for determining the uh, discovery of the new viruses. After this, Trimming, we can subject this uh, data into the DeNovo assembly using Trinity software. There we can see the context and assembly was uh, taken. Then you can see this uh, the data in the different dates, total assembled basis, uh, average quantity length, median quantity length, the total Trinity transcript, how many there are uh, like this we'll get. Then once this transcript, uh, this DeNovo assembly has done, then you can see the comparison or Library from the uh, uh, what is the NCBI data next? Then these are all these circles of done through the Dinova assembly or subjected for the mega blast analysis. There we can see library virus library, known library will be there. Then we can identify these viruses associated with the new uh, in the that particular sample. This uh, type of a technology can be used not only plants, it can be used for human pathogens also. Once these uh, you these are next, these are assembled and mapped with the reference oral genome uh, uh, obtained from the then analyzed cluster W and bioedit. Then we can use uh, the, this data aligned data of the virus a known and unknown virus and then next. We can see different software for determining the viral genome analysis of Jerome with the NCBI Blast and BioWit software, NCBI War of Finder, and determine the organization of the genome by SNAP gene and sequence uh, species diversion tool can be used for comparison of the C uh, C species and also uh, determining the nucleated identity matrix. Mega software used for the uh, phylogenetic analysis and RDP generally virus are. Uh, evolved through recombination to see this uh, known virus or uh, unknown virus, a uh, new virus is recommended. We can use this software for identification recombinant in the population. That means different software can be used for analysis of virus and also other pathogen associated plants. Next. Safety measures followed in the lab, strictly strict safety measures followed in the lab, USA lab. Before entering to the any lab in the USA, we should follow the record of risk assessment process because these uh, risk assessment process play important role for our health and also safety to the people who are working with us. This, this is the must to enter into the taxi, the pipette to start the research. That means we can look at the some uh, how they follow the risk, uh, risk assessment. Next. See how they put. Uh, gloves in the basket and also dustbin and tissue for what is used and there is a dustbin for general waste and dustbins are recycling the recycling can help us to save a resource next then bio bean is when we are handling the infectious waste like uh, some pathogen uh, some organisms or bacteria, fungus, etc. We should use this type of uh, bio beans and see that you should not throw somewhere and make a problem to others. And the packing of waste should must to disposal of the uh, laboratory waste. Like this, we can see. Next, the enter in the polyos or bios, uh, wearing a waprons are must and to in order to maintain the biosafety measures. Next. Then we they strictly follow the protocols either for the first aid or a disposal of waste and also uh, removal of the waste in the lab. 
they can see how if the pyrimidine is best for chemicals is creating a fumes in order to avoid the damage to our body or our health like that we can you should, can follow in our labs also see how handling of liquid nitrogen how this scientist is handling with wearing a uh, what is that u uh, uv uh, protector uh, protector and also gloves you can see then handling how then once if you use any bacteria fungi and all we should use the disinfectant to avoid the contamination in the lab like that we you can follow in our labs to avoid the, uh, the what is the uh, bio safety uh, problems can be avoided next see how the people can use all chemical plastic with separate storerooms in order to avoid the uh, uh, what is that uh, problems to the researcher working in the lab then some equipment and other facilities have observed and recorded we can see in a common facility generally in a uk system common facilities and everybody access to equipment you can see in a bench you can see four five pcr machines then this is thermocycler real time pcr where i work next then uh, electroporator uh, for the gene transfer you can avoid the agro uh, what is the bacterium inoculation and electrophore inhibitors gel duct mill inhibitor and working bench systematically they will follow on the, the label next you can see here deep freezer how they tracks each uh, compartment they'll write on a board and in the print of the door and they they nobody will touch the others that means a strict systematic nature of the storing reagent can avoid the damage of the research work then different uh, equipment used for estimation of either biomolecules rna qubit fluorometer and nanodrop we can use for the estimation of different biomolecules or nucleic acid or the protein or other biomolecules these are the equipments like uh, the deep freezer because the deep freezer generally in a, in a uk system where i have uh, visited they will keep in a single room and maintain the temperature in order to avoid the uh, damage to the equipment also the chemicals or reagents and biosafety cabinet strictly they will use in order to can maintain the biosafety level 4 5 3 4 2 4 and cages the biosafe room and also uh, cages for the white play vector maintenance then i had a some opportunity to visit different places this is the museum where you can see this is scotland uh, national museum where a dolly is the first clone uh, animal uh, in uh, edinburgh university they, they have displayed in order to disseminate the importance of this cloning in animals then you can see the museum different animal models then they also kept a covid to create the awareness regarding this impact and how it is prevention of this covid in a, in a population like that i have opportunity to visit different university create what university where one of the important or top most university in the scotland where is jams fat edinburgh university also i visited that is a good university in the uk and there is a one uh, trust that is national trust for scotland you look at this fountains there is a no uh, trees because they have strict uh, some uh, rules through the trust to maintain the forest forest or plants in order to avoid the damage to the nature like that here so many biodiversity parks are acts are there in india to protect our nature I, I, i you can see here no plants to that these these trust they are maintaining the uh, plant ecosystem i have opportunity to visit different places of london like a tower uh, of a tower builds london builds thames river this once if we go for scientific uh, purpose we can visit that means we can make use of these uh, purpose for other uh, visiting other places also we can see big vein and trafalgar square uh, beckham and palace and james garden is one of the best gardens in uh, london and then i have opportunity to visit the science museum at uh, london this is very beautiful and is useful uh, museum you can see packet of size dna sequence are where these sequence are used for uh, determining sequence of, uh, sequence of a human genome uh, that means 
they they you can see double helix model that means it will give you attraction for the scientist or people or kids to attract to the science and one of the very important important gardens in london is kew garden because it is a pay based around 24 22 pounds they will charge but beautiful garden well, anybody is visiting London, please visit this garden and see the beauty of the garden. You can see different because the different way they can see the different plants and also where they put either your even the kitchen garden approach also is there. Attraction in the marketing, how they will attract, you can see here. They are displaying in a right manner and making a market in a right manner. This is the attraction to market their products in the, some malls related to plants and seedlings and seeds. Even a small uh, uh, shop also can how they'll keep. That means the beauty of them to sell and get uh, sale and get money that to benefit themselves. This uh, Next, this is the context and networking, how it is help us. We are going to some country and this context and networking. I had a, con a, a, a opportunity to visit Queen's uh, Mary University. It is one of the top most 10 top uh, university in the world. As one of my friends, he is my very close friend, is immediate junior to me in our undergraduate level. He is working as a scientist. He has hosted me uh, lunch also. He has shown me, you can see what it is actually mitochondria. It is a tubal vacuum like because they have, they have promoting a sign. It is generally this uh, in this uh, building, they will train the young bloods, young scientists or children. Next, he is working as a scientist. He is a Pradeep Madha, uh, Madhapur. He is uh, working. He is handling more than 15 uh, students uh, in his lab. Next, another another person who is uh, Chandrasekhar Reddy who did B.S. Agriculture, M.S.C. Agriculture and Ph.D. in N.C.B.S. is working as a bioinformatics in the uh, one of the topmost university in the world, that is Cambridge University. The, he has when I visited, he has hosted me breakfast and lunch, and he, he forced me to stay in his house the, because that much attraction for the people who are going up abroad. And I utilize his service. You can see he is a scientist there as a bioinformatics. Next, he, they are also offering some courses in the bioinformatics, like the 5,000, 10,000 you pay and you can join. That means your contacts and uh, uh, the networks helpful for us to acquaint the science also. Next, how oh, my contact with my friend who has helped you how to buy this ticket up, up season, half peak. Because he is basically for Gauri Bidnur and is a B, B uh, software engineer. He is helping how to buy. That means that meeting a friend, he is hosted me lunch. We really enjoyed the theme of a whole Sunday. That means this contact help us in not only our professional and personal life also. Next, you can see, look at this uh, UK taking a dosa along with the chicken. Uh, all because of my cousin, my cousin's. Uh, sister and his uh, daughter. That means we are going for a scientific, we can utilize to meet uh, uh, our own relatives. He is helping me three days. I was it. He has helped me to acquaint all places in Scotland. That means the people utilize the contacts and network for not only research, not only things, then you can utilize the opportunity for other things. Then how you can utilize if you go somewhere, some institute, uh, how you utilization of opportunity. I had opportunity to have interaction with our own university officials for discussion meeting for collaboration with my mentor where I work. And also he has helped two publications, edited two publications is under process. That means we have to utilize if we're going for somewhere and we, are, we have to utilize the opportunity and shine in life. Then, then that means only hard work help us. I got a chance to deliver talk that's after tag, one of you, my seniors, both the mentor and also his wife, he sees also both from the Karnataka, both from the GKVK. They are appreciated my talk. That means appreciation will come if you put efforts. Then once you get, get a chance, you should not miss the chance. Then anybody interested to go abroad in size, you should have an Indian passport. Once if Indian passport, you should find the funding for the any exposure 
and also once if you get a funding we can plan for the visa and hosting uh, host host institute is very important where you undergo training this much is helpful this are the indian passport is must go abroad and once if you pending we can search for the host to give the training and also once if pending is there definitely you will get visa visa to go abroad that's why you can explore some chance of pending to go abroad and come back don't go stay there only because we are indians we should work for our country to serve our country next see our father of nation suggest that future depends on what you do today that means what your future depends on what you do he is mentioned that my message is my 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 life is my message that i say my journey is my message thank you thank you sir uh, if any question you can ask the questions i am unmuting everyone you can unmute yourself and you can ask the questions shankara prasad namaskara and uh, good afternoon it was really an exciting journey of all uh, activity which you have carried out and uh, i was very fortunate to listen to you in fact varaprasad reddy and nanji reddy was mentioning about your struggle days how you did your bsc in hostels all those things i think your uh, talk is a um, uh, what you call model for all rural students who are listening from gauri bidur chintamani elsewhere just uh, one small uh, question sir uh, uh the corona virus research time yes sir. Uh, what was their thoughts there because you might have interacted with the people there how they were working uh, on the corona research problem in india we had two vaccines like that uk also had similar vaccine like scientific community how they were uh, working towards that invention of a new vaccine just if you have interacted or any uh, some information if you find how you, can you share that one yes sir usually any vaccine or any pathogen variability is play important role one then what what they telling that variability is more that's why the vaccines for cp indian population is different from the uk or europe or america but even that they they problem with the food what they mention that indian has able to withstand the covid situation because of a poor habits and uh, exposure to the stress especially dust and all no sir that yes, has sir. made that has made indian population because early as usually in in, in our situation you are, we are exposed to the different antigens and early age because of our environment and our exposure usually in a sophisticated uh, countries like uk and europe and america they won't see dust but this uh, corona has made uh, ear see respiratory effect and uh, gastric effect and all they mentioned that variation in the pathogen early exposure especially we will use this all spicy food and all have a anti viral anti microbial impact on a human population that they mentioned that variability play important role and also the vaccines vaccines any vaccines are the wheat killed or in wheat activated or i think see, these are wild strains are play important role but the most of them they have used a recommended technology to develop the vaccine but general right. population vaccines related to india has because of this uh, what they have done in initial stage in not a vaccine research is more exploited in india because if we look at the polio and polio even it is more than 100 years indian population even that problem is there but that has made uh, what is that uh, endemic problem is the solved but you, only food habits has made us to get in out, out of this uh, pandemic or covid Ask thank you thank you maybe at the end uh, after other asked question on small uh, like you can tell about space agriculture in one or two minutes i will ask others to ask a question if okay, nobody is asked, you can take it up at the end little okay. brief on space agriculture at the end. Okay. thank you for asking my question somebody asked uh, what is the role of crystallography in virology hello 
Yes, sir, you can answer. See, crystallography, what is the crystallography? We can determine the motif of virus protein. Once if you know crystals or a protein structure, you can, you can target through drugs. The crystallography is the base or a crystallography, NMR, electron microscopy, crystallography are the tools for determining or identification of protein or structure of the virus. Okay. Any other questions? Hello, sir. I'm Panindra. I'm actually doing my base in Gauri Vidnar only. Yes. Uh, sir, I have uh, like, uh, if if we can do our masters in abroad in UK, any colleges, like what is the opportunity for us? And is there any uh, scholarship or all something like what? Can we do that? Yeah, you can do master, master of science. Either through we can, you, you have uh, some exposure in the, usually I will tell you, People who did a BSc or M BSc in a, any science, science, and also they will come. Some institute they will do a small project. They will publish and they will try one option. Then you don't have any publication. What you have to do? You have to write a GRE, TOEFL, and other things. You can go either uh, Europe or uh, America through that GRE, TOEFL. You will get admissions. Sometimes you can see we programs like an integrated MSc, PhD, that programs you can try. But you should have, first and foremost, you're going abroad, you should have interest. Then you explore the source of income, source of your funding. Then some, some funding will help you without any financial body you can join MS or integrated PhD. If okay. you need few of my students who are there in abroad who did a master's doing PhD, I connect you. I can connect you. You even uh, I think uh, uh, all of my colleague Raghavendra, he joined initially, then left. Uh, Raghavendra, uh, hello, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, Raghavendra, please uh, brief uh, some aspects related to what he asked, sir. Uh, well, for masters. Uh, you can apply to the universities in the area wherever you are interested. Uh, comparatively, funding will be less for masters compared to the PhD. Uh, again, in case of masters, there are two types. One is called as a thesis. Another one is coursework. Uh, in case of thesis, uh, you will have um, you, you 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 will not have any coursework. I mean, uh, you will not attend any classes, but instead directly you are going to conduct research under one of the faculty. Uh, so it is like a regular working. So you will get some uh, research assistantship there. Okay, uh, but if it is course work, usually like uh, fellowship, you, you can apply for some scholarships. If you are really meritorious, like uh, top 10, maybe above 85%, you have got a bright chance to get fellowships from that specific country and specific university. Uh, most of this information is available on the uh, website of universities where you are applying. You can go okay. through them, uh, then only you can apply, but comparatively, masters, you get very less funding. Uh, but you get a lot of uh, bank loans, at, maybe at a free education. Once you complete there, later you can join for PhD there itself, where you can earn that money what you have spent for your masters. Okay, sir. Sir, I have one more doubt. Um, if, uh, if I do my master's in India and then uh, go abroad for PhD, is it good? Or uh, if it's okay to join integrated PhD in directly to abroad itself? Uh, well, if you get integrated PhD, not many universities uh, uh, offer such courses. But if you get integrated PhD, that's well and good. Uh, okay. Otherwise, my recommendation is to go for PhD. Uh, because for PhD, you get a lot of funding opportunities as a research assistantship fellowships okay. as well as merit scholarships. Okay, sir. Sina, sir. You. Hello? Yes, sir. He, he, he is Raghavendra, he is my colleague, he did PhD from Canada. Okay, sir. Okay, any more questions? We can request him, sir, uh, next session he can take up depending on the topic. Yes, sir, no problem. Sir, one question uh, in sure, chat box. Maybe, maybe I can present on how to get admission into foreign universities. 
yeah please, i can sir. talk for half an hour to one hour we so can discuss up what are the requirements so funding opportunities those things i can talk on that definitely it's sir. very much needed sir sir sure, one question in chat box please take yes somebody mentioned the about agri homeopathic related studies quite number of people are use homeopathy for reducing yes homeopathy nothing but in you know, plant pathogens will use homeopathy to stimulate the crops that but it is not successful usually what will happen uh, homeopathy you use the you can reduce some pathogens but as per my knowledge is not much exploited uh, uh, concept in, in agriculture but it is last because we are using that homeopathy nothing but anything like a medicine now that quite number of people are use homeopathy for the reason especially pathogens you will use but not much successful madam if somebody from pg center chintamani can ask him it would be nice anybody can speak and uh, interact with him it will be nice jyoti ma'am maybe that option is not there maybe with them okay no sir ma'am is sir uh, is it audible yes sir yes ma'am yes ma'am so shankar they are from chintamani pg center they regularly attend our class they, you can listen to them okay i am from chintamani oh uh, we are we are very proud of you sir students are clapping uh, by knowing uh, you are from chintamani i am chintamani village uh, kodegandlu i am basically from village i did my b, 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 b what is the yeah, up to 10th my village up to four standard my village and uh, up to the uh, high school from government uh, boys high school chintamani So, sir, sir, uh, we are from Boys College. Sir, we are from Boys College, which ah. is very, uh, very next to your uh, Boys High School. Okay, madam. Thank you, madam. Okay, sir. Uh, 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 we we want uh, that uh, session, sir. That is uh, the scope for higher studies. Scope for higher studies. He, he, our colleague Raghavendra is here. He is online. Uh, especially for abroad you will take uh, we, uh, india... we can arrange that one i think we can plan uh, offline we can discuss with raghavendra as per the pg center students we can plan shankar paji okay sir if any admission to the farming university farming system i can speak thank you sir thank you very much okay any more questions okay okay it's already five so that uh, we can end here so shankar and uh, shankar sir very uh, we are very thankful for your uh, uh, talk and uh, sharing your experience with us and it's uh, motivating us towards uh, higher education actually uh, it's a great opportunity to meet you on uh, creative so i thank all of, all for attending attending this webinar i hope you find you, be, you found the information and insight sharing here to be informative and valuable remember the learning doesn't have to end here thank you one and all for joining today's talk thank you sir thank you madam thank you sir sir all for giving an opportunity to express my few points thank you Any time, any time, sir. Tell your student to contact any time. No problem. Thank you. So no, thank you, sir, for making opportunity as a fresh experience of your UK lab. All those things. This is needed for the student community to go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.